Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. So as you would have seen from my previous video last week I went on a little payday splurge. Well if you've clicked on the video you already know what I bought. I got the Sosu by Kaylee Urban Bible eyeshadow palette. You'll see this is super shiny because I have not even taken the packaging off this. This is going to be a genuine first impression. Also I'm going out for dinner tonight so I want to create some sort of nice eye look. I've left off my foundation because I don't know how crazy this is going to get like. Let's peel off. Ah. Excuse my tan hands. Not so good. So this is the palette. It looks crazy. Um, I think I definitely, so I suppose how I pick a palette is by looking at all the colours and thinking of like thinking like how many of those colours am I genuinely actually going to dip into in my life. This is a 16 pan palette and I definitely think on a daily basis that I would dip into everything except these two and this and this. So I think that's a fairly good ratio <laughs> um, and justifies me buying the palette. The one thing I'm worried about as I look at this, worry is a strong word, you know what I mean, is I don't really see a transition colour per se. Like this is quite dark, Saviour is quite dark, so that's kind of, I'm like, ooh, okay. Let's get into it, let's get started. I've no idea what kind of look I'm going to create, I'm just going to roll with it. So my usual, <laughs> priming my eyes. So I'm probably going to stay within this realm, maybe bring this guy in a little bit as well. Maybe this and these. Definitely the sparkle on this as well. It's fabulous. Well, let's have a look at that actually. Oh, oh my god. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, now I want to swatch more. Go for this purple. Oh, seriously. Stop. Oh guys, I think I made a good decision. <sighs> Amy, calm down. <laughs> okay, I'm starting off with my Inglot 6SS. I'm gonna dab into Saviour and see basically what the pigment is like coming from these shadows. Yeah, it's a little bit darker than I'd normally like for a transition shade. I meant to zoom in, I never zoomed in. Let me do that now. Oh yeah, that is blending, let me tell you, like a dream. So good. That is Saviour in on the lid and into the socket. So next I'm going to go for a colour that they call Prophecy. So this one here we're going to darken up to crease. And then I'm actually going to go back in with another different fluffy brush and blend that out a little bit better. So my usual tactic with this is to put the dark colour in with a brush and then fluff it out with a brush just so you don't concentrate the colour too much and then you get a nice blend on it in the end as well. Oh my god guys, so happy with this palette, look! I've always liked Kaylee, like I've liked Kaylee from early on enough. I didn't know anything about her until my sister got her palette back in the day and at that stage I think she was like super young like 19 or something like that and I was just really intrigued when she teamed up with So Sue to create her own palette. Just can't get over it. Oh my god this is so enjoyable because these eyeshadows are so easy to work with. Wow. I've just swatched Oath on my hand. So this one up here, it's a matte kind of brown. It's probably a little bit cooler than for what than what I'm going for right now, but I'm gonna pop a small little bit in just the outer V and just see what that looks like. Great, and then I'm just gonna grab my first Inglot blending brush and work that all the way in. So my plan is, have a plan now. Um, to do a little bit of a spotlight with that 1996 shade that I showed you, the first one that I swatched that was so stunning. So do a little bit of spotlight here. So yeah, that's my plan. Do a little bit of a spotlight with that 1996 colour across the lid and I want to work that Sin colour in there somewhere. So it might be on the lower lash line. We shall see. Now, this 1996 colour, it's foily, it's 
just gorgeous but it's one of those ones like I had with the model's own palette that I'm not sure how exactly to work with it. I think I'm going to grab a flat brush. That's where I kind of always start those kind of shades or those kind of eyeshadows, those formulas. So I start with a flat brush, see what way it goes on with a flat brush and then take it from there. It's lovely but it's kind of making me think now that I maybe should do a cut crease. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> Okay, FYI and a learning from this, just use your finger with the shade 1996 because, wow, like look, like, that almost gives Kit and Karma by Stila a run for its money. Okay, so that's what we're doing. We're going in with our finger to pat down 1996. Great, okay, so I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of a lighter shade along the top just to kind of smoke this out ever so slightly a little bit more and I really 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 want to bring in this majesty color um so yeah let's try this without messing it all up and I'm gonna go with a really really light hand holding my brush at the very very end and just smoking it out Oh, I like that. The pigment in that is insane. So yeah, go nice and easy with that. So what I'm gonna actually do is pop off camera, do my liner, my lashes, and I'll come back and then we'll have a little chat about the palette. Okay guys, I am back. And I'm only back because I was sitting here having a great time, doing my makeup really slowly, and then I realized it's actually starting to get dark, so I need to finish this video. So I went away, put on my base. If you saw my previous video on the LA Girl foundation, you'll know what the story is. I'm not wearing that today, I'm wearing my Estee Lauder double wear. And I just put on the rest of my base. Um, I put on some Sosu lashes. I said, why not just keep the theme, you know? Um, these are Dubai in the Glam Lash collection. I absolutely love them, they're really dramatic. I popped on some of my Mary Lou and I used this again. You would have seen this in my last video, but my Miss Lynn. Um, love you, peach and every day. And that is my new favorite blush. I love it. That's it there, I absolutely love it so much. So that's what I used for my blush. I popped on a little bit of my lip lingerie gloss from NYX that you've heard me talk about before. This is the shade Honeymoon. So let's have a little quick chat about this palette. Oh my God, am I so glad I bought this palette. Okay, first of all, let's talk. Packaging, I personally love it. Um, I love, love the fact that it has a mirror, amazing. Let's talk about the shadows. Oh my God. So I have used these three, actually these four. Um, I used Oath, I used a little bit of Sin, and I used Majesty as well. So I've used quite a nice few. I used Veil, just ever, ever, ever so slightly um, under my brows and the rest, you know why I use the rest. Oh, Sin actually, I used for my lower lash line, as you can probably see, but I also use it for my upper lash line. So I used my Inglot 77 gel liner to line my, my upper lash line and I kind of brought in Sin to smoke it out kind of at the edges a little bit, ever so slightly, nothing overly dramatic. And I then went back in with 1996 and popped a little bit of that in the corners of my eyes. And I have to say, this was amazing. The formula is buttery. The pigment is A1. They blend like there is nothing else. They were made for each other. Yeah, like I don't actually know what else to say. I'm so glad that I bought it and thank you. I know loads of people that commented on my Instagram picture of this and my Facebook picture. Some people were like, meh, meh. And other people were like, no, you need this. This is amazing. And I can see why if you're into makeup. Um, obviously this is not gonna be like a beginner's makeup eyeshadow palette by any means. It is scary. And I think that yellow and the blue is kind of what is like, oh my God. But if you look closely at it, Take these out of it. Okay, maybe take these out of it. You would pretty much use everything else. One of the things that 
I don't know, turned me off this palette a little bit before I got it was the price. I won't lie, um, this was $34.95 I think. So yeah, the price point is definitely up there, but I actually think it's a premium product. I think you're talking about something as good as... So actually, I would say this is much better than the Naked Palettes by Urban Decay. Um, I, I think it's up there. I think it's one of those. I think it's a premium palette and I do think that the price reflects the quality that you get 100%. I haven't been able to create a look with such ease as I have with this palette. And do you know what? Like I said, I've been watching Kaylee for quite a few years now and I just think this is her personified in a palette and I think it's something that she should be really, really proud of. And I think we should all support Irish. Um, and she's amazing, absolutely amazing. As is Suzanne Jackson, obviously. Um, brilliant businesswoman and a really, really good collaboration so soon, Kaylee. So yeah, happy days, guys. So that is it. I really hope you enjoyed the video, the first impressions, the review, and the makeup look, which I'm so, so happy with. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye!